Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to rig in Blender or how to use the Rigify rigging tool in Blender. So this one is pretty easy, you just need to have the correct steps for you to do this. But before we start, make sure that you check out our latest offer under this video. So let's get started. Now first thing you want to do here is you want to open up your Blender file where you have your model. So right now I have this uh, P a person uh, model here. This is just a sample. So for us to start rigging is we first have to add our armature. So you just need to go to the top left, just the click on the add and you'll see the armature option here. But by default, when we click on this one, it's just going to give us this small armature here. So we could start adding our armature manually here, but there is actually an easier way for us to do this. So let's just delete this one. So for you to start adding that armatures or a template for a human figure armature, we want to first go to the edit tab at the top left. Now here, let's go to preferences and here, let's go to add-ons and you want to search for Rigify. So I'll just type in Rigify here and make sure that you enable the Rigify here. Just click on this one to enable this. And once you enable Rigify, you could go ahead and just close this one. But if you want to read further into the, the documentation, you can just click on documentation here. But for now, let's just close this one. Once you've done that, when we click on the add again in here, you'll see that the armature has now has options. So it has single bone, human, animals, basic. So we want to use the human, which is the meta rig. And we've just added a rig for a human or for a person here. But right now it's actually small. So we want to resize this one and match the current position. So first thing we first have to adjust our current view. So I suggest you click on or press on number one on your numpad. So it's going to give us this front view. Now here, since our rig is still selected, we want to resize this one. Just press on S to resize our rig. So by default, I want to resize this in a way that the bones actually matches the size. So to make things uh, easier, we want to switch over to viewport shading here. As you can see, we, we can see through our mesh immediately. So again, press on one and we want to match the color bones here. So I like to use that as a reference. Now in here, we could start adjusting our bones. So in here, we just need to switch over to edit mode. And we can now reposition the bones on our rig. So right now we don't have any use for the face at the moment. So we want to delete the face here. So just highlight this one. Press on delete and bones. Oops, my bad. So we want to delete this section here. Bones. And we just want to retain the one bone, which is this one, so that we can still move the head. Now, once you've done that, next thing that we want to do is, again, we just need to match the current position of the bones to the body itself. Now, to before you actually start repositioning it, this one, we want to mirror the movements because if we're going to do this manually, it's going to take a lot of time because if you reposition, like for example, this section here, it's not going to be copied on the other side and you have to also do that to the other side or in the right side or left side of that specific model. So for us to be fast with the matching, we want to go to the options at the top right and we want to enable the x-axis mirror. Now in here, whenever we move something, in this side here, it's going to mirror that on the other side as well, as you can see right now. So this one is pretty uh, cool because you'll be able to basically adjust things as much as you can. Now, uh, also one more thing, when you're adjusting things here, make sure that you reposition 
you reposition everything in a way that it would make sense. So if this specific joint is usually located here, make sure that you look, uh, position it properly. Again, like position it properly. So let's just highlight this one and let's just adjust the bones. Now, once you've adjusted, adjusted your rig gear, next thing you want to do is we want to switch over to object mode again. Now in here, we want to select the model ourselves that we added here and the uh, rig that we just added. So let's just select both of those. So first select your model, press on the control on your keyboard and press on the rig now. Now in here, you need to press on control P on your keyboard. It's going to pop up this settings here. So we want to select the with automatic weights under the armature deform. So what's going to do, it's going to actually connect our rig with our model here. So whenever we move our rig, it's also going to move our model. So let's switch over to viewport shading here and we want to switch over to post mode. Now we selected a rig here and whenever we move something, like for example, we want to move this one, it's going to follow the mesh itself as well. So that's it. So it's pretty easy and very fast and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.